Okay, in this video, we're going to install Django and some other things, the Django REST framework that we're gonna need for this course. So we're in our virtual environment and in, to install Django, we just type in pip install Django. Now, if you wanna install a specific version of Django, you can type equal equal and then one point whatever, two point whatever, whatever version you want, you just designate it that way. We just want the latest version, so pip install Django. And pip is the Python installation processor, I don't know, <laughs> program, something, pip. Uh, it's just what you use to install things with Python. And you can see it's downloading Django. It's also installing the SQL parse, this PyTZ, and Django itself. PyTZ is a Python time zone file, does some things behind the scene. As SQL parse, SQL's a database, it does some database stuff. Uh, that's all just normal. Okay, we also need the uh, Django REST framework in order to create a REST API. So same command, pip install, uh, it's just Django REST framework. So it's collecting, installing, done. All right, so now we can type in pip uh, freeze if we want to see what's been installed inside of our virtual environment. And you notice we've got Django, we've got the Django REST framework, we've got this PyATZ, and we've got SQL parse. Now check, take a look at this. If I deactivate my virtual environment, turn it off, and then run pip freeze. Now this is saying what's installed on my computer. I've got a whole bunch of stuff installed, but you'll notice there's no Django. There's no Django REST framework. There's no anything, right? Uh, SQL parse isn't in there. None of the things we just installed appear to be on my computer. And that's because, like I said in the last video, it's a walled garden, our virtual environment. So we've only installed these things inside the virtual environment. So that means every time you open up your terminal and you wanna start working on your Django project, every single time you need to come to your C Django API directory and then type in that source, uh, venv scripts activate command, and then you turn on your virtual environment. And then, you know, we can see, sure enough, all those things that we installed are still there and you're good to go. So, so I think that's all for virtual environments. In the next video, we'll go ahead and start our Django project and uh, start building it out.